Hi, my name is Jason Radelin, Assistant Professor of Humanities. I teach Theater Arts, English, and Film Studies. I started doing theater in when I was in high school. Um, I followed my sister into it. She had gotten involved and I was never really involved, but I was in, she was a big influence on me. She was a year older than I was, so I followed her into it and I fell in love with it. It was something that I was good at. It was something that I um, you know, really uh, was, became passionate about. So I went to college, um, but I went to a school, the College of St. Rose, that didn't have a theater degree, uh, didn't have a, a, a theater major, so I majored in English. I did a lot of theater when I was in college. Uh, once I got my bachelor's, I decided to stay uh, in school, went to graduate school, and I um, attained a master's degree in, in theater arts. I go about teaching theater in lots of different ways. You know, there's a variety of techniques. Uh, it's a unique subject because it, you know, it requires different techniques depending on what you're teaching. Uh, of course, in acting, say, um, you know, it's something where everything is practical. We're up on our feet, we're doing work, we're, you know, um, really kind of testing out the skill set of what it means to be an actor. On the other hand, in a course like Introduction to Theater, that's, that's much more kind of a basic kind of low to the ground, what I call low to the ground course, meaning like, what is theater? And you know, what does it mean to perform on a stage as opposed to be on camera? Or what does it mean to watch a play versus watching a movie? Um, so there's other kinds of things that you do in a class like that. So there are lots of different techniques too what we usually call teaching theater. I think that theater is a really useful subject to study for anybody, no matter, no matter what you know, kind of life or what career you end up in, because it's all about solving problems and, and you know, creating uh, work that's eventually gonna be presented in front of an audience. My favorite production is what, whichever one I'm working on currently. Here at FMCC, I've been a part of close to 50 productions in the time that I've been here. But whatever I'm working on at the moment is where my energy is, and it's, it, it, it's like there's, there's never been anything before that. You know, theater is a part of our everyday lives, certainly in terms of, of, of performance and, and uh, the performance of self. We choose a costume to wear every day. Um, you know, we get ourselves dressed and, and we present ourselves to the world in this kind of designed way. Um, and we act, we wear masks, depending on the environment in, in which we, we happen to be. Um, you know, so there's, there's, lots of, there's lots of performance, kind of unconscious performance that goes on um, depending on where you are. Here on Earth, um, we, uh, you know, we perform for each other and uh, even if it's just in everyday life, it's, it's, always, it's always a part of, of being a human being. In my opinion, um, the most important element of theater is the individual on stage and the audience in their seats. That interaction, you know, the idea of liveness and the idea of, um, you know, being in the moment and, and experiencing something in the same space. It's, uh, um, I always, the way I like to say it is that uh, movies, are documents, you know, a book is a document, but theater is an event, it happens in real time, and I think that's the most important element. 